Hey guys, the motor controller has come in. Uh, the seller on AliExpress is, um, yeah, where's his name? I'm just looking for it here. Green Time Technology Co. And these controllers retail for $9 actually. Good for projects. They're um, 350 watt at 18 amp. What's well, actually pretty good. Um, my first controller back in 2006 when they first started coming out. Back then 20 amps was pretty powerful and it was double the size of this. So the fact that this one can actually pump out 18 amps at its uh, a 6 FET uh, controller is actually pretty good. Um, I'm using them for the for the project I'm, that's coming up. So once the FETs come in, I'll uh, post some more videos. But uh, one thing I did notice is uh, most uh, manufacturers now are putting this soft rubber over all the screws. Um, basically because what it does is it keeps the water from creeping in there. Uh, I'm thinking he's done it with just here with just the one because he's worried about people opening up the controller and screaming warranty when they blow it up. So that should be all of them should be all uh, like that. But like he says the quality on these isn't as as good as um, his other ones. But uh, you know you get what you get. Um, actually, what I was just going to do a quick test here. I was going to show you how the um, show you working with a brushless uh, motor here that has no hulls, and uh, show you the smart feature on the smart feature. Actually, what you need to do is you need to take two of the um, if you want it like you can use a motor without hulls. But what you do is you join the wet wire together. It's your and that's your learning wire. And what you do is you quickly power it up. Now what you got to do is just quickly give it power and then turn it off because it's going to go full out. As you will see. Now it's learned the, um, the phase of that motor. And there's no hulls on that. Okay. So then what you do is you disconnect your white wire. And then I'll show you that it uh, will work. This is the motor I... Um, through together last year there you go and then you hook it back up powered up and then you can just throttle it and it should work there you go that's without hauls so that controller there I can use on my uh, custom wound motor now without hauls and it would have power Yeah, it's got power. So that's the smart feature of it. Um, one thing it uh, it is a little confusing with this controller is the throttle is kind of weird. Um, on most controllers, you'd get the throttle on this three wire here. This one actually is for three speed switch. The actual throttle is on the four. It's on a far, four wire. It's on a green, red, and black. And there's a gray. I'm not sure what the gray is for, but uh, that's that's the extra plug that comes with the unit. As you can see there. It also comes with an extra uh, power switch or power wire. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. Uh, I'm gonna pop one open so we can check out the FETs inside, see what they're like and what the build like, build quality is like. One's getting saved for this motor, and the other one's getting uh, into getting built into uh, what I'm building. So let me uh, crack one. Okay, the best part I like we get to void the warranty. <laughs> Once we break that blob, the warranty is up. I should have been blobs on every all three of them, but what are you gonna do? Yep, there we go. Okay. Leave the back, we'll take the front and should slide right out.
I'm gonna check the specs on some stuff inside this. He says it's low quality, but you know. There you go. There's the inside of it. Nice and clean. Decent seal on it for something that's nine dollars. It's got a good seal on it. And there's your six fat. Yep, six fat. And totally moddable. It probably could take more than 48 volts because you can see it's got a hell of a lot of uh, resistor there to work with. There's the regulator. Uh, one cap and one shunt. Oh yeah, you could totally beef that up. I'm totally gonna gonna mod the hell out of it. I'm gonna replace the um, phase wires. I don't see any type of LED on the board that would show when it's powered up. Or any programming port. Let me just stop it here and uh, take the loop to it. See if I can see anywhere you can program it. Okay, it's actually got room for if you wanted to add a few things. As you can see, everything's plainly labeled on the back. Like LED, all the wire, all the um, voltages in and out, TX, RX. So you can mod it quite easily. Um, I'm just going to check the specs on the um, the FETs. Okay, he was right when he said that these things were quality was so-so. Um, the FETs, for one, they don't have much heat paste on the back. So if you're going to use one of these, you're going to have to put a little bit of heat paste on there because there's nothing to transfer from there to there. So this will probably stay cool and this will overheat and burn out. Um, the actual FETs itself are totally smooth on the front. There is no labeling whatsoever. And that's kind of concerning because these are probably no name. Yeah, could be, you know, they could be, um, could be anything basically. So you're taking your chances. Like he said, it's a so-so controller and you can't guarantee it. But they do work pretty good. But yeah, there is no label on those FETs. So I think I picked the perfect controller to um, modify. I just want the board. This is all gone anyway. But uh, this one I'm going to slap back together with proper paste and uh, use it for my other motor. And I'll mod the other one. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. Um, I'll post some more videos when I put the better, you know, legitimate FETs in it. And uh, we'll do some high voltage testing on it later.